coal mining to me, it's 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 a livelihood. It's a way of life. It's it's not a uh, you know just uh, someone's working at a gas station or someone's working at a pharmacy or something like that. You know, it's it's a different breed of people. Cause it's dark as a dungeon. My name is uh, Scott Lipka Jr. I'm a second generation coal miner. I started at a federal number two coal mine in 2014 where my dad and two of my uncles worked. Worked in the mines for nine years now and my job at the uh, federal number two mine was uh, I was a longwall utility. I've worked on the belt crew but my most recent job there was longwall utility and that's anything and everything on the long wall from running a shear moving shields, running supplies from our uh, our track up to the face, bits, oil, you know, uh, washing the head gate, and that's where all the controls are for the entire long wall face, your chain conveyor and all the power, power for the belt, everything, and uh, build cribs, do roof support, uh, help on power moves, what does that long wall mean? Like, what what is the long wall? Long wall is the uh, it's where the shears cutting coal right off of the face. It's basically a 2,000 or so foot block of coal. I think ours was uh, 1,100 foot long, and it'd be 202 shields. So it's standing that that whole 1,100 foot. You guys are working that whole section at one time. Yeah, yeah, it, it just constantly, it, it snakes. It goes from the head to the tail, everything advances forward, then it comes right back to the head, and it's, you know, you'd be lucky at our rate, you get six passes a night, and, and you'd go home. You'd hot seat for the next cruise, so you'd stay in about 10 hours. Uh, six passes, like taking how much out at a time? How much three, off the. Three foot at a time. Three drums, foot. Drums three foot. So that's three foot down, three foot back, three foot that way. Yeah, and it okay. just moves kind of like a snake. Okay. You know? And uh, yeah, just hot seat for the next crew and call day, go home. You start out as the red the red hat. Oh, yeah, you start out as the red hat. You, you're at the bottom, you're the grunt. You're getting all the, all the dirty work, <laughs> all the slop, all the mud. All the, uh, all the, hey, I don't want to run this chain hoist, you know, it's getting tight or it's getting too heavy. Come over here, you know, you're young, you're strong. You can, you can take over, you can take the job. So, uh, does, did you learn all this growing up, watching your dad and listening to your dad, or you just got in there and... No, my, my dad didn't want me in the mines. Yeah. He, he told me, uh, no, go to school, do something better, and then I was just too persistent, and I, I got my... Red Hat, waited a year, starting the mines a year later after going everywhere and uh, I mean he called me dumb for it honestly. But uh You love it you feel Oh like yeah, it? I, I yeah. loved the mines. Where where I worked was great. I loved yeah. it. What would you say to anybody out there wanting to be a coal miner? We we've recently run into some young boys and you know, they didn't go to college or nothing, you know straight out of high school and they're in the mines and they're probably making as much money as, you know, a guy with a four or eight year degree in some situations and driving new trucks and buying new houses and oh, if taking care of their families. So. If you're looking for something that, you know, you don't mind a little bit of work and feel good and accomplished at the end of the day, you know, coal mine's definitely a thing to do. I mean, I, I always left thinking that I accomplished something, did something great, you know, you, you just felt a sense of pride that you had a good day's work under your belt and you could go home to your family and be proud of what you've done. Yeah, we should be. That's the coal mining's what keeps everything running, man. So without you guys, we couldn't make it. What does uh, coal mining mean to people here in the state of West Virginia from your view? Uh, coal mining to me, it's, it's, it's a livelihood. It's a way of life. It's, it's not a, uh, you know, just uh, someone's working at a gas station or someone's working at a pharmacy or something like that, you know, it's it's a different breed of people. Yeah. I mean, even the camaraderie you get with the guys that are underground, I mean, it's it's like a brotherhood. Well, we appreciate yeah, we you coming tell. by and uh, sharing your stories and your 
your family uh, history with us and uh, well you brought some of your your items you work with back there and to hold these things these guys got you can just tell that you know they live it and there's like he said it's a lifestyle they don't go home and uh, you know you don't put these things away they, they use the, these tools every day and their lives depend on some of them and, you can tell when you hold them where them helmets have been. And I bet they really worked old hoss. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah. Back in the day, I was watching some old videos and reading things. They they used mules and horses down in there for a lot of that. And I don't know if you've ever seen any those old videos and stuff, but they were using teams of horses and mules and wagons and stuff, bringing it out there and some of that. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I, I got to be the... Uh, horse down there especially since my, my dad <laughs> that's what there. i was getting at <laughs> old hoss down there mr yeah. moots he his belt weighs 60 pounds he don't weigh much more than that he had carried that thing for what do he say 52 years in there or something wow oh, yeah. but no man that's thank you this is uh as far as i'm concerned this is the future of uh west virginia coal mining here in these mountains and this is the he represents everything that uh, the miners are about and our state is about as far as I'm concerned. If it wasn't for these hard working folks like this and uh, carrying on these done, traditions, got... we wouldn't have uh, all we've got here in this state and we appreciate everything they do and all the sacrifices they make for us. So we appreciate you, it. Yeah. Appreciate it.